So Square Enix just announced the release of Harvestella which is going to be a new farming RPG. In the past, farming games such as Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, Rune Factory and Stardew Valley were the biggest games in the farming genre. However, all those games were made by companies that have much lower budgets than what Square Enix has. This is why Harvestella might be the next big thing. Based on what we have seen so far in the trailer, Harvestella will look more like Rune Factory rather than just a farming simulator game, that is there will be RPG and fighting elements in it. My initial thoughts upon reading the announcement was that this is going to be a mix of Final Fantasy and Harvest Moon which always have been two of the best game franchises that have a sweet spot in my heart since my childhood. Harvestella takes place on a planet where four giant crystals known as sea slide govern the seasons. One day the sea slides start behaving abnormally and Quietus begins to visit in the interim between seasons, this quickly establishes itself as the season of death. The sea slide glow with a strange light emitting a dust formed by light that threatens all it touches. Crops start to die and people are trapped inside. During one particular quietus, your character, a traveler, collapses in an isolated village. You meet a girl called Arya who claims to have come from the future and is researching the mysteries of this new unwelcome season. Thus you and her take the first step on a journey that will reveal the very truth of the world. Based on the trailer, we see that Harvestella has many gameplay elements from farming games like Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, Rune Factory, Stardew Valley but also Final Fantasy, Atelier series and Tales series. There are different jobs that we may be able to use for the fighting element in the game as the trailer shows us. We are also going to have different skills that we may be able to use and possibly levels just like in a JRPG or an action RPG. Enemies in the game also seem to have weak point mechanics which may add up a lot to the gameplay fighting elements. In Story of Seasons, we have a small map on which the game is set, while on Rune Factory, we have a much bigger world, however, this often ends up being empty. In Harvestella, however, we see that Square Enix is taking the Final Fantasy approach whereby they have an overworld where you travel from one area to the next, and each area is usually another map filled with even more content. We see the game also includes crafting, socializing with people, possibly marriage just like in the previous farming games, different quests from residents in the town, possibly great storytelling as well. Crafting includes things that we may use in dangerous dungeons as well as for farming and cooking. There is going to be different seasons in the game that change every 30 days just like the older games. These include spring, summer, autumn and winter. This already tells us there will be a lot of Story of Seasons and Harvest Moon like gameplay thus bringing us a lot of nostalgia that we love from those games. We see that we can explore not only on land but as well as on the water using submarines. This may play a huge role in the gameplay aspect as there might be so much more secrets in the overworld. The game itself looks gorgeous with so much details never seen previously in any farming games. We see that we have a lot of mythical animals to care for, different tools used than just the typical sites and watering cans so this might just be a fantasy farming RPG game. Another reason why I feel this game is going to be more like a Final Fantasy game is because on how they present the game logo on the trailer. This looks a lot like the Final Fantasy series. We may also have many different mechanics similar to previous Square Enix games and this also includes Octopath Traveler. What do you guys think about Harvestella? Are you excited about the game? Will this game set a new standard for the farming genre? Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys next time.